Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. This is a roster and team breakdown of the Atlanta Falcons in Madden NFL 2003. This is one of my favorite teams in this game. Also a team I spent a lot of time with playing online. And I didn't feel guilty doing it because the team overall isn't that great. We're going to see that. But they have one key piece and you're going to see him first. The quarterback, the legendary Mike Vick. Michael Vick is a 78 overall only. But it's that speed, that 88 speed. Uh, he's actually one slower from Madden 2002. But he's still 88 in this. The backups are Doug Johnson, Kurt Kittner. I feel like they're... Uh, backups are different in the uh, PS2 version. One thing that I'm noticing going through the rosters on the GameCube version is the GameCube and Xbox versions came out a little bit later. So they do have a little bit different uh, rosters. What's up, Chief Crazy Buffalo in the chat? So if you do see differences from game to game, I've done some of these on PS2 and some on GameCube, so there will be some minor differences between each team. So let's just go through, look at Vic here. He's got great agility, 87. What's up, number one fan? So we're going to see the Falcons in action tonight. Great stamina on Vic. Awesome acceleration at 90. Pretty good jump for a quarterback at 70. It should be higher. I mean, he's just a... Freak athlete, really. Good break tackle at 64 for a quarterback. Throw power is great at 92. Throw accuracy is just uh, at 75. That's, he's going to miss some throws with that, but he's got good throw power. What's up, Matt Simmons? Monty? Felipe? Uh, I'm definitely going to do one this week. Madden NFL 2004 a draft. Uh, just trying to block out that time. Because they, they take, you know, two and a half to three hours or so. So have to make sure I have that time allotted. These uh, take about hour and 15, hour 20. So let's keep taking a look at the roster here. Now Vic looks a little bit more injury prone than the other quarterbacks. But he recovers quick from injury at 87. Don't know why they made him. So low, you'll be there? All right, cool. I'm glad everyone's liking the uh, fantasy drafts. This is a little, you know, this is a hybrid between just playing a game in Madden NFL 2003, my favorite Madden, and getting a breakdown of the team rosters. So let's look at the halfbacks. I really enjoy their running back situation because Dunn is fast and Duckett, the rookie, is a guy who can break some tackles. The other guys don't really use. So Dunn's a 91 speed, 85 for Duckett, good. Uh, Duckett's a strength guy. Not so much for Dunn, 59. Good awareness on Dunn. Agility's great for those uh, juke moves at 94 for Dunn. Stamina is the same for all these running backs. Good acceleration for Dunn and Duckett. Great hands. With Dunn, you're going to use Dunn a lot. Uh, that combo with Vic is is pretty awesome. And uh, you can do a lot just with those two guys. Carrying the ball, Dunn does not fumble too much. Duck, it's pretty good at 80. So I'll jump for Dunn. Break tackle, not as good as Dunn, but okay. Uh, Duck, it's got that 89, so he's a guy... You can run up the middle, break some tackles. I most of the time put him at fullback while using this team. That's what I would do while using this team online. Dunn's got that 99 importance, which really doesn't do anything but tell you that he's important to the team. 80 toughness. That's your injury recovery. Fullback, Bob Christian. He's not a bad one, but Duckett is just nice to have in there as another option to give some carries to because he's too good. 
Christian's got good hands at fullback at 70. He's only a 59 speed. His break tackle's not as high as Duckett. What's up, Alex? It is Retro Sports Gamer time on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And we're going through the Atlanta Falcons. Let's look at the wide receivers. So, wow. This is uh, this is why you don't feel bad using the Falcons online back then. Because look at this receiving core. It's the worst one I've seen so far. No guy that I would even consider good. <laughs> and that's first, second receiver. Um, so we're going to look at these guys. That's why Dunn's so important to have those hands out of the backfield. Because this is a poor receiving core. So the they're all slow. Whithead's not bad at 88. You want to get your receivers in that high 80s. Acceleration. So catch. So Finnerin 6'5 with 75 catch. He's going to be a, a jump ball guy. He can do some of that. J Jeff Graham's got the best hands at 81, and Sean Jefferson 78. So these guys, they're not going to. They can catch the ball, but they're not. Uh, they're not the best receivers, and they're not fast. So jumping wise, none of them are really jump ball guys, except Finnerin. He's, he's not bad, 82, because of that 6'5 height that you see right there. What's up, Deontay Jenkins and James Bond? What happened with the Chiefs? You got to tell me. I have not been watching the NFL. I'm stuck in this era. So, yeah, there's the receivers. Pretty poor. Alex says Jeff Graham was good with the Browns. I don't really remember that, but I trust you. So, here's the tight ends. LG Crumpler ended up being a good target for Vic, but it doesn't look like he's that great in this one yet. But we'll see where his hands are. So, pretty average for these guys. So LG Crumpler, not bad, 72. I mean, guys in the 70s will catch the ball. Carrying, jump, jump's not great, though. Not awesome break tackle. Run block, pass block. Kozlowski's the best for that. But he's also the worst tight end. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I don't... I don't watch uh, NFL ever since, uh, you know, their, their constant medical attention, medical advice, and obsession. And Bob Whitfield, left tackle. He's the best player on the team overall. Not too fast. Good strength. Acceleration, 74 is good for a tackle. So at least, uh, you know, you have someone that's good at blocking on Vic's strong side. Pass block, run block, 92-89. That's the most important for the offensive lineman. Left guard's definitely a weak point. Wow, 39. That's so slow. Not that you need him to be fast, but wow. That is super slow. And we'll go to where it counts. So these guys are pretty average. Awareness is low, below 60. That That's definitely a weak point on this team. Center's not much better. You got Robert Garza. 77 acceleration. That's all right. You're not going to put these guys in at wide receiver. That's for sure. Break tackle 17 and 30. That doesn't matter for offensive linemen. I don't even know why I'm highlighting it. So, again, guys in the 70s for blocking. Not really good. And awareness is low. Uh, 
Oh man, this offensive line is just <laughs> wow. Besides for when I don't remember it being this bad, but whew, it's horrible. Right guard, his awareness is at a 50. Good thing he got Vic at an 88 speed running for his life back there because they got no one who could really block for him. Better pass block, though, 82, 79. So at least he got a guy in the 80s there. Right tackle. A little bit better. Awareness is at least in the 70s, 87 strength. Todd Weiner, Weiner, not sure how he likes to say it. Pass blocks, but pretty good, 84, and run blocks, 79. Well, you're really using the speed of Vic and then Don, 91. But yeah, that offensive line is pretty bad. <laughs> Rogue Gamers says he's drafting Vic. Well, this isn't a draft, but he's on the team, so good pick. So the ends, both in the 60s. So a guy that's 48 is just not coming in the game. Like, that is just, not only is that slow for any defensive player, even a tackle, that's horrible for an end. So Flemings is going to get the nod on the depth chart no matter what uh drone it's looking like 48 you can't catch anybody like you might as well not be out there i think the kickers are faster than that so let's see we're tackling so he's not a good tackler but still he's you can't have that someone that slow. I would maybe consider leaving him at tackle, but that's about it. So we got Brady Smith on the other side. The Steelers, not the Brown. Okay, I remember him on the Steelers. He had to look that one up, I'm guessing. Did Jeff Graham play on the Bears, too? I kind of remember that. There was a Graham on the Bears. All right, let's go through his horrible stats. He's the only right end. I don't know why their defensive players are so horrible. Man, Falcons were hurt back then. So just scrolling through so you can see. Tackling 74, awareness 70. So the whole defensive line is, is bad. I mean, there's no there's no way around it. The two guys that are okay as tackles are super slow at 50. These guys are faster, but... Wow, it's tough. Strength's all right. Awareness is okay. What is their good? Their tackling's pretty solid. 83, 82. But man, the, the disrespect. It's destroyed by lightning in 2007. Wow. That's pretty random. Travis Hall. And Edward Jasper. Don't want to look at that too much more. Left outside linebacker. <laughs> Troy. I don't know. I didn't talk to him about a Packers loss. Stewart, Will Overstreet. Both slow. And this defense is... Looking horrible. 76, 69. Their catching's bad. They're not going to pick off anything. Tackling's not good for linebackers. 70, 68. Yeah, let's uh, get through that. There you go. Finally, a serviceable 
defensive player in Keith Brooking, 84 overall, 74 speed, 69 strength, 82 awareness, 89 stamina, 70 acceleration. Uh, catch is pretty low. He's not going to. Oh, big interception guy, 54. Excuse me. <laughs> Played well for the Bears. Du -du 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 -du. What's up, Jacob? Tackling's great for Brookie at 89. That's what you like to see. Right outside linebacker, Patrick Kearney. John Theory. So Kearney's pretty good at 76 overall, 70 speed, 83 strength. So with Kearney on the outside, I think, you know, the Falcons would play like a 3-4. And because Kearney was more like a pass rusher. See, he's 22 catch. I just can't even believe a linebacker would be that low in catch. But that's what they would do with their right outside linebacker. That's why he's so low. Usually they're at least in the 40s. Where's Jesse Tuggle? I think he's retired by this point. You met him once? Tackling's good, 84 for Kearney. Took the corners. Uh, pretty solid first two guys. And Rossum, he definitely uses utility 93 speed to bring some pass rush. That's what I would do. Blitz him in out of the nickel or dime. So you got Ray Buchanan, Ashley Ambrose. They could be faster, but not the worst. 88, 86 speed. Great awareness for Ray Buchanan, 91. And good for Ambrose at 83. Agility's best for Buchanan. Acceleration's all pretty similar. Uh, the top three guys have solid hands for DBs. You know, if they're in the six, mid-60s, they're all right. 70s is one you would start considering them. Uh, interception type player, ball hawk. And Ambrose got the best jumping skills. They're all pretty short, so they're jump ball candidates to just get dunked on by a guy like Randy Moss. Tackling solid for the first two guys. Horrible for Rossum. He's not in there for his primo tackling. It's for his speed. So, not too worried about the corners. Free safeties. We got Keith Lyle and Keon Carpenter. So, Lyle's better, but I don't want to put a 78 back there. It's too slow for a safety. 83 speed. So, he's probably the guy that I'm going to go with on the depth chart. So, there is some things that I move around with the Falcons. Some of these teams I haven't moved too much around, but with them I will. Catching's not great. Acceleration, he's much, much quicker to get up to his top speed at 83. Third jump's okay. Tackling's poor with both guys, 60 and 59. And the strong safeties are even worse. Wow. This is just a team in serious transition. They're all in the 70s. There's no great option. So I might be doing some moving around with DBs at safety because this is just unacceptable. <laughs> John Dale Carney, Courtney Hall. They got three of them. They probably just were like, man, I don't know who we're going to put in. 
at the time they built this roster. Tackling's all in the 60s. But, yeah, so, you know, use the Falcons in Madden 2003 versus someone. You can't feel bad about using them. Look, let's take a look at this team. I mean, they're they're weak at very many positions. Jay Feely is pretty good as a kicker, 74 overall. He's got an 86 kick power, 87 kick accuracy. The punter, Chris Moore. Let's go through this real fast. Kick power, 86. Kick accuracy, 82. And that is the Atlanta Falcons. So, overall, I would say take, well, this is, overall, this is the worst team I've reviewed so far. Uh, take Vic a, out of the equation and using him with the controller in your hands. And this team is struggle bus to get the job done. But with Vic and Dunn, you can do you can move the ball on offense with that scrambling and putting Dunn in good positions to catch the ball and run the ball. And Finneran is a jump ball guy. It's pretty much what you could do on offense. Defensively they're they're horrible. There's no way to <laughs> to uh to analyze that the corners are are can hold their own which is good and you got one good middle linebacker rest of it's pretty bad <laughs> good one rogue gamer all right so let's go to the depth chart and um obviously vic staying in i like to put TJ Duckett here. I want to get him on the field. He's 85 speed. And, you know, his run block and pass block is not going to be as high, which that's where it's going to hurt a little bit. But I want to get more offensive player on the field, really. Christian could catch, but he's so slow. Yeah, I'm going to play a game. So think about who you want to see the Falcons play against. That's how these videos go. So I break down the roster, and then I analyze the team as I'm using them in their playbook. So wide receiver Finneran's the second guy in over Jeff Graham, even though he's not as good. So I'm going to get... Withhead in the game just because he's the fastest. Not the best hands, but what can you do? Can't make this look good. Michigan State TJ Duckett, that's right. <clears throat> we'll put LG Crumpler in and then leave it like that. Offensive line's bad. 48 speed, like I said, he's got to come out. There's a lot of adjustments you have to make with this Falcons offense. 57, I do not want to leave him in. Uh, maybe I'll end up putting Kearney there. Stewart's bad, Overstreet. I think, like... He's so slow that I would almost rather... Well, they're all slow. Yeah, play around with the linebackers however you feel like. Kearney, I'll leave him in, of course. The corners. So Rossum's the fourth corner here, but... Let's see the speed on the other guys. I do remember that, yeah, Vic at Lambeau Field. That's kind of where he made a name for himself as someone who can go win a big game in the playoffs. Got Vaughn, 88 speed. 
So he might be the one of the guys I put at safety. I don't know. Maybe I'll even just put Rossum back there to have just some more speed on the field at all times because they're not the fastest defense. You just put Vaughn as the fourth corner. Or I like him as the third corner. Just he's a little bit faster. Yeah, Lyle's coming out for Carpenter just because he's a little faster. And these guys are horrible. Put Rossum back there at safety, even though he's not a good tackler. He'll get there. Maybe he'll slow him down with a missed tackle. Hit the wrong button with Vic, and boom! Brett Favre had something to do with it. Would trade for Favre and let him finish the career with the team that drafted him. The Atlanta Falcons. What's up, Star Fox? Okay, so that's the adjustments with the uh, Falcons. And we're playing on all pro, so who do you want to see me play against with the Falcons? I would take on big, big time opponents with Atlanta. See, they're 66 overall, 66 offense, 69 defense. Uh, Panthers look like a pretty good matchup for them. But we'll see who you guys want. Lions even are a good matchup. Jets are a little bit better. Jacksonville is not a bad matchup. Giants. Yeah, so it looks like Bengals are a good matchup for them. Lions, Panthers. But really, if you have the skill with Vic, you could take on any team. So let me see if I even have the helmet here for the Panthers. That one I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. How about the Colts? Colts aren't a bad matchup either. Star Fox says Lions. I know Alex would like to see the Lions. Get a little sneak preview of them. I haven't reviewed them yet. It seems like an even matchup. Seven and nine Falcons, two and fourteen Lions. Monty Williams wants Panthers. There's no uh, no consensus. Sixty Colts. I'll just stick with the the Lions. And hop into this game. We got the Dan Reeves playbook. GameCube controller. And we're ready to go and play some Madden 2003. David said Lions. Alright, so there you go. I got a couple Lions. How's it going, David? Do like the controls for the GameCube in Madden. Besides the PlayStation 2 controller, I would rather play it on GameCube over the Xbox. Don't really like using the white and black buttons to throw the receivers. It's just uh, awkward button press you don't really use the triggers 
Classic team, 72 Dolphins, 85 Bears. Yeah, I can do that. 85 Bears I'm very familiar with. You're doing great? I mean, things for me are pretty good. You know, things are a little strange out there in Chicago, but all in all, I'm still alive. I'm doing things I like, so can't complain too much. I'm still out here claiming my freedom every day. So we got Vic Brooking, the kicker. It's pretty cold in my basement. I'm finally starting to feel it. I'm going to kick this ball off and... Well, hopefully we could at least stop the Lions. But if it doesn't happen, I won't be too surprised because this defense is something else. Desmond Howard. Found the entire season she's been showing the games to me. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Is the season on... YouTube? Like, can you watch it anywhere? Or is that just a Star Fox exclusive? That's something I would be interested in. Because I was not quite born yet when they won the Super Bowl. And I've hear, heard about this team for years. No players on the team. And, well... I never really watched any of their their games. It's all been highlights. ESPN is a team that highlighted classic teams. Oh, get that tackle off. Oh. This team's going to have a tough time tackling. Interesting games on use to... We used a computer simulation that had eight greatest teams in NFL history to determine the winner over a period of time. Well, with these games now, people do a lot of those simulations. 70s on Monday Night Football. That's cool. So, one thing you'll notice defensively, they start in the 3-4, like I said. That's where you get Kearney blitzing in with that horrible catch rating. And they have more plays, actually, in the 3-4 than other teams. Like this uh, corner blitz. So it's fun to look through those and have those options. I always felt like I was getting creative on defense because of those different, uh, different plays you could choose from. What's up, Antonio? How you doing? When you have a guy with a quick release like this, it can really frustrate the pass rush. Seems like he always gets rid of it just before Go they stud. Second and eight coming Bring up in the two outside linebackers. Three man front this time. So Azakim is dangerous. There we go. I'm going to have to make some user tackles against Stewart because team can't tackle too great. Big third down, third and six, and we're running. Oh, he got the tackle made. Lamont Warren's down. Yeah, he tried to stretch it out Give that ball to pick. Let's go. Ellen Rossum return the punt. Ellen Rossum getting some minutes at safety. I can't say when I played this when it was out online that I would move Rossum to the safety position, but... Given how slow some of those guys are, it just seems like the right thing to do. Hmm. Okay. I kind of thought they had a trips. 
formation and single back, but maybe that wasn't until 2005. So in any Madden game, you got to be careful getting getting the quarterback tackled. I love this deep outs play, and then. Having Duckett and Dunn back there on the shotgun with Vic. How's it going, Dwayne? Basketball franchises? I might start doing fantasy drafts on the basketball games. Oh, horrible throw. That's where I wanted to go. Forced it. Didn't have time to develop. And with Vic, I got to realize I could probably just run out of that. So that was just uh, not good awareness on my part of what team I'm using. Four linebackers this time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any franchises. There is... If I do seasons... It's, again, I know I did the NBA Inside Drive. A season, a short season. It'll probably be like football games just because the season's shorter and I can get through those. Four linebackers this time. The only season I have going as a keen is uh, the only season I have going is Ken Griffey Jr. winning run. I feel like that's been dragging on forever. Haven't played it lately. NFL Dream Season. Hmm. It does seem cool. I would like to, to see that show. 1989. I bet at the time people were like, wow, this is amazing. And now it's like, there's all these sports simulations going on. I would imagine there's at least one or two you could find. Easy for the Lions. Bad pick that I threw with Vic. Gotta work the flats to duck it and and done. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. A good looking drive. And they score the touchdown. The offensive unit. They didn't get a stop on the first drive of the game. Hey, as an offensive coach in this but then league, gave it right back to him. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. He'll be returning this one. Yeah, Benzino that pops in from time to time on the in the chat, he does some Madden games where he matches up the the classic teams. He posts them in the Discord sometimes. First and ten. Playing on GameCube, that's right. Why not? He's gonna throw. He's looking. Vic rolling out oh. to his left. Throws He's wide open. I I waited too long to throw it though. And he has to be careful. Everyone says it looks a little bit better on GameCube. I think I agree. Oh, put a move on him. <laughs> I didn't juke or anything. I just kind of put like a user move. Little dipsy do back and forth. NFL films footage to showcase what happened in the simulation play. For instance, they would show Bradshaw pass to Lynn Swan for a Steelers pass. That's cool. Duck it plows. Get him a carry. The end of the first. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Mm 
Double swing pass. What's up, Matt? Tecmo skill with that run for Vic. Yeah, you just gotta make your own juke. Oh, that was just way off. Going to Vic's weak side that just didn't work out. ABC Disney didn't have the Sunday night football yet. Oh no, I hit the button. I meant to run. That was another user error. I'm going to go for it here. Right in the middle of the field. Too far for a field goal. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Dropping back. Oh, no. The intended receiver. Atlanta. I'm scrubbing up right now. Against these Lions. You get in a position where you want to gamble. When that gamble pays off, no one questions it. But when you turn the ball over, you have to answer all the We're learning something new here. Interesting dream season. He can't wrap him up. Wow, look at the Lions. Azakim is not a guy you want to get. Give him that space because he's, I think he's a 96. He's up there in the 90s for speed. So I got to stop messing around versus these Lions and give him some respect. When you think about but that the missed tackle is not surprising. It all came down to execution. All 11 guys executed to perfection and allowed him to score in their very first play. He feels the kickoff cleanly. Well, yeah, when I got in rhythm with this Falcons team, pretty much a drive up the field with ease, but obviously showing some. Lost here. Jefferson shows the hands. We are split play. So they have first and ten here. Detroit's running wild is right. Go Lions roar. Thumbs up. They'll go with a pass. Steps up. He surveys the field. Oh, that was a nice the little juke. And he slips out of bounds. Hit that big R trigger. He's making sure the defense knows they have to defend against his running ability as well as his throwing. Trying to show moves, boss. It is time. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-eight yard line. It's got to make it interesting with these rusty starts. Rolling right. He's not catching him. Not taking that hit. Good keeping that ball in his left hand. Smooth cruising out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the thirteen yard line. And try to hit Dunn if he's not covered. No, he is. He's looking. And he goes out. Make a couple yards out of it. Seven yards to go. So I thought this was more of an out to Finneran, but it's not, so I don't know, let's see. Like the done in motion. Looked clean, got him with momentum running towards the end zone. Vix a cheat code. Yeah, that's why people always liked Vic in these video games. 
He's very comfortable, though. I mean, there's there's a, things you could do when you're playing Vic. And you're the defensive side. One is a QB spy. If you have a linebacker that's fast enough, I would say you probably want him to at least be like a 79, 80 speed. But the best way to do it is bring DB blitzers with a fast nickel or dime uh, cornerback. If you bring them from both sides, that's the best way. On the dime. Like, bring two dime corners in to blitz Vic. Or you could just bring, like, a, just a straight up corner blitz, like this X right here, the X play. Just bring corner blitzes. Then, you know, you got the speed to catch up with Vic. And if they're thinking about running, they're not going to get on the outside. You're going to force them to throw. He looked at the worked on that sweep. I mean, Vic, he's a game changer in, in 2003 as well. It's just uh, the rest of the team's not as good. In 04, he was a 95 speed, so yeah, he's even more that way. This one, he's 88 speed. Which they never should have made him 88. Oh. Corner Blitz gets there, two minute warning. See, the Corner Blitz is even working against these Lions. Touchy feely. <laughs> Touchy feely, what's he doing out there? All oh, lions looking like the lions on that drive. Three and out. It was an easy pass. How the heck did he miss it? Jet is looking for a good punt here. Rossum is back to receive this. That fair catch for Rossum. And get back out there. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing. The good thing about the Falcons receivers is they can at least catch the ball, you know, if they're open enough. But they're not burning anybody. He's looking to pass. Rolling right, throws over to his right, and it's caught. See Jefferson with another catch on the out. Trial of Madden 22 on the Series X. Nice. On the Mobile Extreme Gaming Bus that I drive, we have Madden 22 on on the PS5. Ball on the 35-yard line. With an extra DB, the defense is in the next quick drop. Stepping up, the pass gets his hand on it. I waited long enough, and Don was getting open, but he had to take that big hit. Second and ten. Looking to pass. Looking downfield. Vic rolls left. Get that first easy. And he goes out of bounds. At the, the teams that have defensive ends that are fast are also good against Vic. The Lions probably aren't that team. Be easier to run on a team like the Lions. Witted, he has those 66 hands. Not surprised he dropped that. Do I like Madden 22? I mean, I don't love the new Maddens. Oh, Jefferson, he hits him for the touchdown. That was actually supposed to be an out, but I threw it early. And hits him back shoulder. Jefferson, veteran receiver presence, helping out. I don't know, I just, I, I just expect more from it. Like in the commentary, the fluid gameplay. It, from my experience, the... Uh, 
hit stick is still kind of really cheap. So, I don't know. It's not bad, but I don't think about playing it that often when I get a moment to actually play it myself. I'll play NBA 2K22 over that. Maybe next time I'm on the bus doing some downloads, I'll, I'll stream some Madden 22. Give some analysis on that game. We gotta keep that 3 4 rolling. Kearney's uh, out of place here. What's. Oh, he's just a spy. Using motion. <sighs> my, my thumbs are freezing down here in this basement. He's looking. Passing to his right. It's a he cold January. Stewart makes the play at the 26. Second and seven. Ball on their own 26. Only played GameCube's Madden, so this is quite a jump. Foster goes in motion. Man in 2003 is a before hit stick game, which is another reason to like it. There's no button you can hit to, or stick that you can nail a player with and make them fumble. Some dropping out here. Good sports games on the Switch. I haven't bought any sports games. On, well, th that's not true. I have Rocket League, which is like a fantasy sports game, and also Mutant, Mutant Football League on the Switch. Uh... NBA, the 2K games are on there, but you got to get the micro SD card. FIFA's on there. Been tempted to just get an old one for cheap and play that. But yeah, it's kind of disappointing that there's not more support with the professional sports league games on the switch bring that corner blitz that's that play really works well out of the three four i'll tell you we've had a close first half and it should be the same for the second and that's why it would be big if they wind jammers the way this thing is going that could be the margin of victory yeah the switch is awesome really it's a good system and the thing that I really like it for, too, is you can play the games off of the, the game cartridges or the game cards, whatever you want to call them, without, without downloading any updates. It gives you that option and says, do you want to play off the card or update it? So that's nice if you want to save time and actually just play the game without doing the updates. And the other thing is, you st oh man, oh thank goodness, Azakim, we burned everybody. There's, there's value to the cards, because there's still in the cartridge you play the game off of, where the discs on Xbox One, PS4, PS5, they're really just licensed discs, and you have to download the game. So you can't play directly off those discs. Maximum football coming out. That's cool. I liked what those guys were able to do. Given their small studio. Trying to get... Oh man, he got the hand up. Well, let's just check Vic's throw power arm here and see how far he can launch it. Brian Finneran is going to be my target. He's really that too far. Is it ever on sale? I have no idea. It was on the Game Pass. It's not anymore. 
because I do have that on one of the consoles on the mobile stream gaming bus, and I had to pay for it. <laughs> it breaks the tackle, but not going to get that to the end zone. Slow start, but we got an offensive juggernaut here between the Lions and the Falcons. It's worth 10 bucks. I mean, think about it. If you play one season, 10 bucks, it's no problem. Super Mega Baseball, I heard good things about it too. Get that ball at halftime. Hansen is back and ready to put this Gimp 2K and Super Gimp FIFA. He sends it off. Yeah, you know, Nintendo or these companies like EA used to make an effort. Even 2K, the to make like Wii versions specifically for Nintendo but I think the sales just backfired even though the Wii was one of the best selling consoles of all time they weren't selling a ton of games on it people were just buying it for Wii Sports and you know some of the Nintendo Mario stuff that's really it oh yeah you can't forget about those cheerleaders He's got that zone coverage. You don't want to throw it there. Then dive. The Wii U, yeah, that spooked him too. That did not sell well. But really, it was only that first game both companies put out. 2K and NBA 2K 13 and Madden 13's on the Wii U, and then that was it. Yeah, Wii U is a good system. Brother let me borrow his. I actually have it in the basement here. I got Madden 13 on it. He's looking to pass. He's looking. Just kind of fired at the finner, and that didn't work out too well. It almost looked like he might have been trying to throw it to someone else. And let's see, yeah, I'm just gonna try to get the guys to go on streaks and run with Vic here. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Looking to throw. Playing zone. Well, that's another way. Dunn's wide open. It's another way to slow down Vic. You saw that zone. And so I didn't want to run straight into those guys, but I had tons of time to throw, so I found a wide open and worked on down the field. So you think they bombed FIFA? Play without crowd noise? No, I usually leave it on. <laughs> Why is it annoying you or something? Completed the clean... <laughs> what? <laughs> Zoo Tycoon? I didn't know that was an achievement. See, any other quarterback, that's... Well, not any other quarterback. That could be a sack. Culpep would probably just shake him off. McNair. McNabb could probably run away from it. But Vic, almost getting sacked. That's a touchdown to the other side. Like, oh, man, this guy's coming at me. I'm out of here. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. And so they're able to move the ball in the distance and punch it into the end zone. Big players make big plays. Yeah, I think it would be weird without the crowd noise. They're the biggest guys on the field. And without them, no one gets into the end zone. He kicks it off. He's already looking up the old. Never played Detroit Madden in 2001. Touchdown. It's good. I mean, it looks great. Yeah, you want to play it on the PS2. 
it's very offensive um you know the players don't move as fluid as this game it's hard to stop you know bombs down the field there's those one-handed catches but that being said there's still turnovers interceptions happen so it's a fun game to play it's just not that polished yet they, they made it a little bit better in 2002 and then I feel like this is the the game where they got it right And as you can see in this game, there's been some mistakes on throws that I've made, the one Mike McMahon's made, and they don't always result in interceptions. Man, 2004, there's a lot of interceptions when you make a mistake. Second and maybe three. Ball on their own 45. Ricks moves in motion. And with the run. First down, James Stewart. Yeah, I mean, the Madden 2001. It was probably one of the best selling games because it came out on launch day. October 26th, the PlayStation 2. And they improved the Madden games over the years, so I don't think a lot of people go back to it. But it's an it's it's not an exclusive to the PlayStation 2, but the other systems weren't out yet, Xbox and GameCube. So really, it's the main version you want to play on the PS2. That's a good one for the first one to play. That's when I switched over from any of the other football games I was playing to basically like game day to Madden was after Madden 2001. The graphics were eye popping at the time and the gameplay was good enough to keep you intrigued. Like, oh, they're going to build off of this. This is this is really good and this is the fifth play of this drive looking to throw throws it out over to the left you out of bounds i thought he caught that inbounds i wouldn't be surprised if there's a challenge here the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive back it's not in field goal run john man football on the sega genesis well i wasn't that far after you my first Madden was Madden 97 on Super Nintendo, so very similar graphics, just a little bit later. PS2 launch was so unmemorable for you when I saw Madden 01 in Babbage's. I was not impressed. Dreamcast held you over just fine. GTA 3 is what finally made me get my old one. Yeah, I mean, if you had a Dreamcast, you didn't need to get a PlayStation 2, but I think that was the problem, especially in my case. It's like, I don't have that much money as a young child, so I'm only getting one or the other. I'm not getting Dreamcast and... PS2 at the time, so I held up for the PS2 for because I was a PlayStation guy. Oh man, he threw that off. And the DVD player. That pass was thrown with so much velocity in it that the receiver never caught up with it. It's third down and five to go. I'm surprised you weren't impressed with Man in 2001. At least the graphics. Looking for a receiver. Man, he's it. off balance. The intended receiver. That one falls to the ground incomplete. The quarterback has all the for tools it. to look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. I could just run for it. 
Ball on their own 25. Just getting sloppy. Four man front this time. They're bringing that blitz the other side. First down, no problem. At the 44 yard line, he's driving. Rain, snow, mud. N93 on Genesis was your first Madden. Everyone had their first Madden, you know? Had to happen sometime. Yeah, Dreamcast was good. I mean, Co Veronica Resident Evil looked awesome on there. It was made for that system. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Finnerin. Well, a little bit behind him, I guess, but. Yeah, Tecmo Super Bowl was on the Genesis. Vic just runs away from that corner blitz. Co Veronica X for three bucks on Xbox. Yeah, it would have been nice if it stayed an exclusive on the, as on the Dreamcast, but I feel like the Resident Evil games just ended up coming out on everything. So we have first and ten here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Madden didn't do anything extra for it. I guess if you add a Dreamcast, I could I could see why you would say, say that. It's like I already have 2K. I don't really need this. <laughs> yeah, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I have the game here. I do like playing those games for nostalgia, but I don't really like going to find all those little things in the game. Come on, done. Third down. Third down and long coming up here. Deontay left. He left the chat early today. Looking downfield. He's looking. Wait a little bit. Oh, holding at one point. It's a terrible call. Rush 2049. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Dreamcast was like, oh, wow, the arcade. Everything awesome I experienced in the arcade is, like, finally at home for sure. Like, there were games on the N64 and even PlayStation that did a good job and were pretty much close to arcade perfect, but it wasn't every game. Like, ah, uh, this one's not quite right. Keep trying to hit that throw to Dunn. The 75. Uh, accuracy for Vic is. You definitely see where he's missing some of these throws. But it moves on him with that agility. The other quarterbacks. You can't juke them like that. Yeah, the puzzles. It's not that I hate them. I just feel like now I don't have time to mess around with them. Back then, though, when video games is just one of the things you do for entertainment, and you got the time, it's not that bad. Just gonna run. No one's there. And he steps out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Picked up nine on the play. San Francisco Rush was an awesome driving game, says Alex. He's a big fan. The Falcons line up in the shotgun. Oh, that didn't work out. It's a little handoff to duck it. Looks for a seam in the middle, but there's nothing there. The defense had great penetration, and they were right there to cover their gap assignment. 
Dave and Buster's, no. I mean, the ones in Chicago, they would love to have you wear a, a mask, and I'm not doing that. We have ways to watch people do puzzles nowadays with the internet. It makes it easy. Oh, yeah, that's true. But that kind of takes... Well, I don't know. Because people use strategy guides anyways. And I feel like back then, though, you always had to find that one or two kids at school that knew what they were doing and could get through it. You're like, hey, can you come to my house? Or what's the secret? Like, how do you get past this part? Oh, I couldn't avoid the hit there. Yeah, the, the last time I went to a Dave & Buster's Antonio was the summer of last year. Went a few times to the one in Vernon Hills in the mall. It was fun. Vic, gotta master those juke moves. See if they show the replay. Oh, no replay. Feels good with the big GameCube triggers to pull off the juke moves. The kick is up. The point after is good. The whole offense got into a nice rhythm to put together. Am I running over the guy with the first down mic marker? I haven't noticed that. You feel more confident about what you're doing. It would be interesting to see if they can continue that success with their next drive. He sends this one toward the end zone. Howard returns this pick. Breaking free. <laughs> you talk to the one kid about Resident Evil 1. Yeah, there's always someone that knows what they're doing. You gotta open up the Game Pro or whatever ball on their own 32 the lions line up in the shotgun lions got off to a hot start but now they got to drops back pull off a miracle might as well start throwing to azakeem right. Melissa, what have you heard on the sidelines about that injury the mood is very somber down here on the sidelines now. He left the field in a great deal of pain. So when I played Resident Evil, my friend Joe had it. Casual gamer Joe. He's been on the channel before. And he would invite over this other guy, Tyler. He would be the one that would play it. He was way into it. He liked guns. So we were okay just watching him play it. Um, but he wasn't there all the time, so then me and Joe started playing it, and I remember we weren't as good at it, <laughs> and we'd get stuck at parts. I know about Splatterhouse, but I never played it. I never played a TurboGrafx-16. To me, I always look at the sports catalog, and if there's something sports-wise that I want to play, then I'll try to get that system. But with that system, I really had didn't find anything that intrigued me. Sweet home, what's that? They're going for it. I'm getting so cold down here, I think my nose is about to run. Oh, they got me for defensive pass interference. in your attitude turbo graphics 16 back then when it came out I didn't even know what it was this wasn't until later 
exploring retro games I found out about this stuff. The Atari Jaguar was another one I had no idea about. 3DO. Uh oh, Lions making a run. What's up, Adam? I saw you you posted a video of the Pat Truther in the Discord. I, I've been watching him for a while, breaking down some of the things that happen in the NFL games. I'll have to watch the one that you posted. Turbo graphic sports games are absolutely horrible. Yeah, looking uh, looking at them, that's kind of the vibe I got. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting the system ever. Inside the 20. Only had one friend that had it when I was six. I had no friends that had that one. I'm trying to think the odd ones that any of my friends had growing up. No one had the Sega CD. Stewart, the deep back. Akeem! I knew it. That's the guy to go to. The go to receiver on the Lions. He had to make that pass perfect. And he got the job done on that one. And so once again, a touchdown. Nokia M Cage. The cell phone, gaming phone. You gotta take the battery out to get the game in. And the screen's like a mini rectangle. Number 37. Get set to return the kickoff as we take a look. Call a timeout and get the. Atari 2600. It's always a classic. I have that. Yeah, that didn't get to the 40. It's got to go 10 yards. I don't know what the rule is now on an onside kick, but in this version. Back then, you have to get 10 yards. Resident Evil. Yeah, I have. Uh, I do have that. It was a free game on the PlayStation Plus. And I did download it. I mean, I haven't checked what the free games on PlayStation Plus now are for probably a couple of years. But I do have that one. Working on a follow-up to Turbo Graphics, Super Graphics, they killed it in the development stage. Onside kicks are too hard now. You mean with the rules? Oh yeah, because they have to like spread out everyone. They can't ha they can't overload one side. The stop at the 31. NFL rigged video made me think about it. Yeah, we're cheat coding it here with Vic. Second and four coming up here. So, as you can see, the duck it done combo is working out in the backfield. There's a flag on the play. We're nearing the end here, and they figure to go with a running play to keep this clock winding down. The way a game. Sometimes that happens when you're in the chat. I'll break that tackle. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 29-yard line. A kneel down here should be the last play of the game. They have no timeouts. I'm just running for no reason. to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. And it looks like yeah, E.T. is just hard to figure out. Put that in. I heard there was a lot of hype for it at the time. He showed some good acceleration around the corner. Big gain and a first down. Usually on runs like that to the outside. I don't know how much more I should be messing around, but whatever. The quarterback could just go with a kneel down. This is the big show. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Falcons line up in the shotgun. 
Gotta go with the man coverage. He's inside the tent. The only way the defense could get the ball back is if they had all their timeouts. The defense just has to kneel down a few times. ET was the worst. Pac-Man was bad too, but at least it was it's one screen you know what to do. So even though it's a bad version of Pac-Man, he still knew knew what was going on. Whereas ET are like, what am I doing? So it's second and goal. I was sleeping when he ran through it. Yeah, we'll see if my brother tries to sneak in some of those moving forward. Try to get one last touchdown here. Tax scan. That one I don't know. Oh, scored that sneak before a second. Oh, uh, Matt's back. He's back in Boston. He's working back in Boston. And since he's going to start streaming after he gets into an apartment. So we'll see how that that goes. You might see, see be seeing more of him on the channel. <laughs> Retro Holy Sports. That's what he would try to spin. Demon Attack Atlantis. I had those games. I don't remember playing them that often, but I can remember the game titles and the cartridge and what they, the picture looked like. Atari 2600 is one of those systems where the the artwork on the box looks way better than what you're playing. So Vic still gets player of the game, 5 for 20, the passing game, pretty bad, but three touchdowns rushing. 236 or 237 on the ground for Vic. Uh He's just here for a week. He should be back over there for a while now. So didn't get it going too well in the passing game with Vic. Receive or rushing, tore it up. Ran Duckett more as the featured back. Didn't do too well. Jefferson had that one TD. And the Lions, they just weren't enough for this team. But overall, 35-21. I really like the both defensive 3-4 playbook and the offensive playbook for the Falcons. It just, they have a lot of plays that work well with Vic like just routes that you can run obviously on the passing game it wasn't too successful with them it was really his legs that made it happen but you can do things like wait to see if they're in man coverage let them go with the man and then take off with Vic once they're down the field stuff like that he was he came back for a little bit I know, 5 for 20, not good. Ryan Leaf numbers. <laughs> All Pro 2005. What are you talking about? All Pro 2005. What's up, Brock? So, yeah, the Falcons team. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of holes, but... To use Vic with Duckett and Dunn, there's enough rushing attack. The receivers will at least catch the ball most of the time. Yeah, Boss Bailey. I, 
I think he's a rookie in 2004, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he's on the lines in this one. I could be wrong about that, though. And, yeah, the Falcons, yeah, if you want to use Vic, you want that speed. This was the version, though, like, you could use the Falcons, and no one's going to complain that you're using them just because of, you know, you saw the rest of the team. The defense is bad. They don't have any great receivers. So you could play, like, Falcons and Packers or whatever. Falcons versus Rams, and no one's going to complain you're using Vic because they have a way better team. But you can still pull them off because you got that. You just got to be smart using Vic, what throws he can make, not taking hits, fumbling the ball. And, yeah, even as bad as they are, if you can use Vic, well, then you could run up the score, and even though you're get, probably getting scored on by your opponent a lot with this Falcons defense, you can still make it a, a good game and win. Carrier the human spear. Would he spear people? I don't, I don't recall too many carrier highlights. It's just before I watched... A lot of Bears football. NFL legends and rest of the teams, computers. GM for ESPN NFL 2K football. Oh, hang time, yeah. Oh, 2008, yeah, that's why you threw me off. Well, I have the game, I just haven't played it much, so that would be something to get into at some point. Classic rosters still use fake numbers, except for Thurman Thomas. Cool, try in Madden 2001. All right, so this is the Falcons in Madden 2003. Like I said, uh, in the GameCube version, the rosters are a little bit different than the PlayStation 2 version. It just came out a little bit later, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that too, but it just seems like some of those guys I don't really remember being in the PlayStation 2 version. But maybe it's Madden 2002. I'm thinking about where the uh, the game came out a little bit later and they have different rosters. That, so me saying that earlier was just uh, a bunch of nonsense, but whatever. It will get sorted out. Mark Carrier only tackled one way. Helmet to body part. <laughs> 2001 at a friend's house. Thurman was 34. NBA Inside Drive 2004. I got to bring that back one day. All right, guys. That's going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back soon, and we're going to get a fantasy draft in Madden going sometime this week. We're going to do Madden 2004 on the PS2, so look forward to that, and there'll be the other guys streaming on the channel as well. Thank you guys for always coming, tuning in, hanging out online for these streams. Take care, 